because mm. it's going to be hot. Yes, lather up the sunblock, wear a hat. Right. Heck, you know, it's going to be so hot to stay inside in the air conditioning. Well, you could do that, Or go sure. in the pool. Or you could turn the sprinkler on. Yes. And be like, you're taking <gasps> Slip and slide. Slip and slide your way through this, uh, through the next couple of days. Just don't yeah. bust a hip, break a hip. Oh, I know. Oh, yeah. I used to love slip and slide. I would attach okay. a few of them together. All right. I got a problem with slip and slide. Okay. My problem is this. Uh, uh, thank you for that tight <laughs> shot. <laughs> Please. It's like 60 speak minutes. Speak to America. It's, yeah, I'm going to speak to America. All of a sudden, it's like a 60 minutes investigation. I never thought the things that held down the slip oh, and why slide. Why are you using those? Well, I didn't use more the things most. to like catch your finger on. I no, know, no, no. but then the the plastic was all over the place right. because you know, as like when I was younger, we, back in the good old days, yeah. it was uh, it was a thicker plastic. Yeah. Right? You yes. remember? Yeah. And then good stuff. Then it became almost like uh, saran wrap. Mm. You know, it was you could like, feel every pebble underneath every you. Every pebble underneath you as you're sliding yep. down and slipping and sliding and yeah. Yes. Well, right. then they made now. I mean, now they make slip and slides. They make like a whole baseball diamond out of slip and slides, which looks really. Yeah, funny. it does. Yeah. But now they then they made them where you could attach the hose to the side, right. and the whole side of it would be weighted down because then a sprinkler right, would, would constantly like a little, be going. Uh, thing going over. Let me tell you. It's like a dance we were doing. <laughs> we yes. <laughs> yeah, it's like yeah. Um, us as kids loved the slip and slide. Sure. I don't think my parents loved it as much when you left it out overnight and then you remove it and you'd get that one strip of yellow grass that would be Agreed. so dead. Agreed. <laughs> and yes. that was apparent. I yes. get it. Yes. We want to use it and then just like move it to another and spot. Move it to in a the different yard. spot. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that it was would a... live in one spot for a while. Right. Right. I, and you know, then if you were like if you were great a little kooky. You would take, um, you would take. Oh, dish soap. Dish soap, because mm -hmm. you know that's what you want. It yeah. Slip more slippery than it was already. Oh, in high school, towards like the end of the school year, right. for seniors, one of the gym teachers would like in the football field in the back. Yeah. This huge, huge roll of like plastic, essentially, sure. not right. even a slip and slide. And they would, they'd suds it all up, and that was kind of a. It was so fun. Yeah. Good. One of those good like last Absolutely. day of school that's fun. activities. Right, that's yes, fun. but you would cruise. Now I now you drive down the street and you see uh, actually there's a couple in in my neighborhood. It's not even slip and slides. It's like kids have inflatables. Giant like massive inflatables. Yes. And these are like the rented deal. Like no, the rented. You can ones. buy them. You can buy them. Can like, I tell what you what happened? They're not that expensive. That expensive. You can get ones that are right. But I've seen them are like. 300 bucks. Oh, okay. And if you think about it, that's not that bad. Look, I think we need that for roadshow guests all in favor. <gasps> like, we put it out here. Oh, yes. We say, thank you for your time. Sure. Now go up right. and take the plunge. Right. Guests of the roadshow, bring your bathing suits mm -hmm. because there's a slip and slide. Yes. Oh, wait. You're talking about inflatable slip and slides. Yes, they have those. Oh, I'm like, talking about inflatable. You can climb up. There's that a huge that we slide. Need, we need both out here. Oh. Yeah, sure. Sure. Well. You've got one. If you're coming on the road, she'll bring you bathing suit. Please, your swim trunks and a towel. <laughs> and a towel. Nose plug. Yes. Uh, well, we want to send yes. our best wishes to Cumberland's Little League team. Maybe they've been running around in Could sprinklers as a, as a celebration. They're going to be encouraged today after their state championship win over Portsmouth. Now, the team is headed to, uh, to Bristol, Connecticut for the Metro Regional, taking on the Little League from Fairfield, Connecticut in the first round. Now, you can watch all the action of the game on ESPN this Saturday at 7. Cumberland's uh, send-off rally is happening at uh, Garvin Memorial Field. So get out there and cheer around the kids. Look, Rhode Island has a, has a great record of sending so many teams yeah. to the Little League World Series. Congratulations to all those kids, and congratulations to the parents, too. Because Oh, my gosh. Yeah, right. Yeah, it's, and it's so fun, and the parents become a team sure. themselves. Right. One year, we were really good. We made it to third in the state. Wow, really, you? I know. Words I've never fondly, said. Well, I think fondly of that summer because right. it was. It was so much fun. But every year around this time, I used to grow up watching Little League oh, World okay. Series and right. you know playing softball and whatnot. Sure. So it's a good time okay. to be 12. Yes, to be 12. <laughs> it's a good time to be like 10, sure. 12 years old, right. Brendan. 41. Then you get older and you're paying your taxes it's and it's just not as fun. Yeah. It would be 41 years old. Adulting <laughs> kicks in. It's yeah. not as much fun. Yeah, as much fun. I, I, I don't know why Will is saying 41. There's no one 41 over here. Uh, but my favorite part of the Little League World Series, guys, is when the camera pans over to the players' wives section. Yes. It's just all... <laughs> Scandal years ago, the, the kid was like 25, yeah. playing a long time ago. That's an old show. But it's his wife and his ex-wife are sitting there. Yeah. 
<laughs> well, we wish them good luck. Sure, absolutely. Aside. We do wish them uh, luck. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Good morning. Today, <laughs> moving forward, August 4th is... I'm oh, just picturing it in my head. I know. <laughs> 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 we'll calm Shave down. Oh, sorry. Yeah. We've yeah. already had a 60 Minutes Like Expose. We we've had a, a dissection of okay. a roadshow slide. Right. I mean, we've covered a lot of them. It needs to happen. But we've got to move forward and get to the show, guys. Today, August 4th, is Get Ready National Chocolate Chip Cookie Day. Oh! I mean, come on, right? Created yeah. in Massachusetts, I'm pretty sure. Well, hang on, Michaela. Don't oh, get ahead sorry. of me. <laughs> that, that was one of the questions. In, no, no, no. In honor of this, I have prepared another edition of my always mildly amusing Kirby quiz. Here we go. No, 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 Kirby quiz. There it, is. there it is. Okay, today's edition is all about the famous cookie, and today's winner, get ready, will receive a lifetime supply of... <gasps> Nothing. Okay, here we go. Okay, okay, okay. Pay close attention, guys. Okay. The chocolate chip cookie was created by accident in the 1930s by A. Kenny Nestle, B. Ruth Wakefield, C. Dr. Ruth. I think it was Ruth Wakefield. Go I thought Ruth it was. Wakefield? I'm pretty sure it was a woman. Okay. Yeah. All right. We'll go. We'll go with that. Ruth Wakefield is correct. Okay. Nice, nicely Let's done, Michaela. <laughs> And she's here right now. Oh, Come on. Come on in. <laughs> With cookies. All right. According to a hard hitting poll, the chocolate chip cookie is America's favorite cookie. Now, oh. what is America's second favorite cookie? Is it A, oh. peanut butter, B, oatmeal, C, calamari and raisin? <laughs> I'm surprised it's not like the Oreo. Yeah. Uh, uh, oatmeal I'll, I'll, or peanut butter? I'll go with peanut butter. Michaela, yeah, I'll do you want, down on that, sure. You're a team over yeah. there? Yes, peanut butter is correct. Okay. Nice job. And Good last thing. but not least, the world's biggest chocolate chip cookie weighed 40,000 pounds and was created by A, the Immaculate Baking Company in Flat Rock, North Carolina, B, a team at NASA, C, a very lonely person. I'll go with A. Uh, that seems a little specific, a? but did he Google a random I'm going bakery? To say. I'll go NASA. Oh no, A is correct. Ah! So you're <laughs> I thought in your, I thought you were googling like <laughs> random town. You know what? The Couldn't immaculate, you, though. Right. immaculate baking company, Flat Rock, North Carolina. How okay. about that? How awesome. about that? How about that? Well, how about that? <laughs> <laughs> Mel Allen. All of a sudden, does anyone remember this week in baseball? I don't know. How about that? Well, nice job, guys, Thank and you. thanks for playing today's edition of the Kirby Quiz. <laughs> All right, that's just about enough of that. Thursday morning is here. We've already covered a great deal of shenanigans. It's oh my no, really, we ought to go home now. Uh, it's almost Friday, and listen to this: we have a terrific show planned for each and every one of you. Yes, all of you watching right now. Our friends from the Feast of the Blessed Sacrament will be here to discuss this year's edition of this this always popular happening. We'll be cooking in the Roadshow Kitchen with Sunset Farm, learning all about the Charlestown Seafood Festival, which is great. We will also have our eye on our eye for a look at some of these this weekend's fun local events. All of this and so much more. Maybe I'll learn how to. Speak speak properly at some point during the hour, but we're happier with us. Let's keep things moving by sending it over to Michaela.